it is the year 2021 hasbro generation selects transmutate reveal good morning today they announced on hasbro pulse the release of the generation selects transmutate figure it's a mold that uh is borrowed from the paleo trex figure that came out in the kingdom series already and i think this is a really awesome looking figure and i think people are going to want to pick this one up almost immediately because uh, transmutate was although transmutate wasn't a, a regular cast member it, it only had one episode it is a uh, part of the cast so um, you're going to want to collect this one to complete your Beast Wars lineup from Kingdom. And looking at the figure, I like the gold and the the teal coloring that they use. It, it looks like it's an awesome looking figure. And it makes sense for the character to transmutate was a non-transforming uh, robot. And I, I think it's its body had been heavily damaged as well as its intelligence so it wasn't a complete um, uh, transformer so using the paleo trex mold kind of makes sense for for this character and you can still create uh, recreate its its arm cannon as seen in the show using part of the vertebrae or maybe the, some of the hip bones from paleo trex so I think it's a good idea. It's not exactly 100% accurate to the mainframe cartoon, but I think it makes sense for what Kingdom is going for. Look at those deep set red eyes and that skull like face. Yes, Transmutate is a very haunting figure. It's got a very alarming face. It belongs in a creepy pasta. In the show, it had. Its firepower was kind of limited to these psychic screams that it had, which belong in the deepest part of the nightmare fuel-inducing dark web. But if you haven't seen that episode of Beast Wars, it's one of the best. It's really good because of all the moral and philosophical questions that it raises. Now, Beast Wars wasn't always into this kind of thing, but this one episode stands out amongst all the rest. So Transmutate is kind of stuck in the crossfire between good guys, Maximals, bad guys, Predacons, and Rampage and Silverbolt are trying to fight over Transmutate's future. Uh, Megatron f decides that it's not very useful, so you might as well destroy it and get rid of it. Optimus Primal thinks it's too dangerous with its lack of intelligence and um, it might prove harmful so he thinks that it should go into into basically permanent stasis lock essentially putting transmutate to sleep forever and both rampage and silver belt can't have that so they begin to have a fight over what transmutate is going to do in the end transmutate decides hey you know, I want to be each of your friends, and the only way to come out of it was that Transmutate sacrifices itself, and they're just kind of left uh, thinking about what they had just done. It's a really good episode. It raises questions about what war is, who the bad guys are, and what are we fighting for? And there's also the moral implications of what do you do when you have a, a, a person like this? Do you lock them up forever? Do you allow them to have autonomy and freedom? Um, what do you do when the bad guys are starting to show more characteristics of the good guys and vice versa? What if your good guys are beginning to uh, act in a way that is hostile? Both Silverbolt and Rampage are questioning their leader's motivations and Really, what are we good for? What are we fighting for in this war if not for the protection of the innocent? So I think it's just an amazing episode. And um, it's definitely worth taking a look at. Even if you have never seen a single episode of Beast Wars, go watch that one. I think it's really awesome. But yes, uh, Transmutate, the character, has not really had that many figures, I think, other than this one from Generation Selects. I think there was a Build-A-Figure, and I think it probably had one other figure ever in its entirety. It's definitely 
uh, not had much representation in toys, official toys from Hasbro. So anytime we get this guy as a figure, it's kind of an event, basically. Um, and I don't know anybody who really dislikes Transmutate um, uh, out of those that know the character. But I would definitely think about getting uh, this character. It'll be interesting to see if um, they choose to make it a Predacon or a Maximal or just leave the Insignia off of it because it was kind of caught in the middle. Also, Transmutate can fly. Did you know that? Okay. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I just wanted to let you guys know that this is available. You can order it on, uh, on Hasbro Pulse. And it'll probably be on other places to, to, to go ahead and pre-order that one. I wonder if they're going to do anything else with the Paleo Trex mold. We are, we're already getting the, the kind of translucent purpley Paleo Trex, and I'm not really sure if they're going to use it for anything else, but... We'll see. We'll see what else they can squeeze out of that mold. And I'm already getting ideas of um, what if you bought like three transmutates and make this big amalgamation, this monstrosity that's just creeping out of the, you know. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you, and I'll talk to you guys later.